everybody, what is going on? It's your girl Keisha. Welcome to my show, Lena Bokiza. All right, so we're going to be speaking about mental health. I think this is something very, very important that is, is not spoken of too often, and it should be spoken more often than it is, okay? So that's one thing I would give Charlemagne. I'm not a fan of everything he say and do, but he does emphasize a lot on mental illness, and that's something that we need to definitely speak on is mental illness. So let's get into it. Snoop Dogg's daughter, Corey. So Snoop Dogg's daughter, Corey, recently revealed to us, you know, via Instagram, that she wanted to kill herself. She wanted to end her life due to bullying, people calling her fat, people calling her ugly, people saying she's too damn dark. She's, you know, and it's just like, going back to JT when it's calling her crispy. And my thing is who the hell people think they are that they think that they can come to your social media and just harass you and be internet bullies. And they, people are just internet bullies. They're bullies in, in person too because it's people who were in school and physically got bullied. And my thing is who do people think they are getting up calling her fat, dark, and ugly? Yeah, she's a plus size girl. She's in the heavy side, but I don't think she's ugly at all. And there's nothing wrong with her skin tone. But my thing is, where do people get off thinking that it's okay to, disre to disregard someone's feelings and belittle them because of how they look? If you don't find someone attractive, you don't find someone attractive and that's your business. The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Okay, we're not going to all agree on the same thing when it comes down to looks. But who do you think you are to sit there and say this woman is fat, black, and ugly? It's disgusting. So because of the harassment she was getting, and this is when she was 13, she's like, what, 22, 23 now? And she wanted to kill herself when she was about 13 years old. And the crazy thing is, even to this very day, 2021, she still feels like she doesn't fit in. She still feels low. She still feels, she still feels bad about herself and how she looks. And it's just like, well, damn. And this is a chick who is a daughter of a popular man. Snoop Dogg, famous man, rich man, Snoop Dogg. So people have to understand that these celebrities and their children, they're regular people like me and you. The only difference is their popularity, their bank account. But other than that, they're people just like me and you. So we can't sit there and look at them and be like, oh my gosh, their life was picture perfect. No, it's not. You know, we see the glitz, we see the glam, we see the car, we see their jewelry, but these people aren't always happy. They, they, they crying inside. So we can't just sit there and just want to live their life and think that everything is good with them. No, they're people just like me. They go through it just like me and you. And that's something that we have to understand. A lot of people who you think because they look normal, they're not normal. Sometimes when people act out, they're rude, they have an attitude, they're funny, whatever the case may be, a lot of times that's they probably have something mental going on. They're probably not proper up here. So sometimes we, you know, we have to just learn to, learn to sit back and analyze and be like, well, maybe that person's going through something. So instead of judging that person, let's just say, well, you know what, and there's some bad people out there, yes, but there's some people who really are mentally ill. And, and sometimes you have to give them a little bit of mercy and understand. And then you wonder why there's so much killings, why there's so much dysfunction in the, on the earth. Because a, a lot of it, I believe, is due to mental illness. A lot of people are not mentally well. And this is something that needs to be taught in schools. It should be emphasized. I don't get, if you want to teach children about transgenders and this and that, but you're not teaching children about what's really important, their mental health. Because children go through some things too. They get teased. They get bullied. Sometimes kids have to grow up fast. So they need to have a mentality strong enough to handle this world. Because it's a lot. So let's get into teaching our children. Let's get into teaching grown adults. We, could, we all could use some therapy at times too. Let's get into that. So I totally agree with Charlemagne on mental health and emphasizing on that. We don't need to always take medication. Sometimes we need a, a nice person, a sincere person to talk to whenever we're going through something because we all need it sometimes. Sometimes we need that, that, prep, that talk just to boost our spirit up. I mean, I feel sorry for, for her. I, I didn't know that she was going through this. I know she looks definitely 
different from her brothers. They're lighter skin. They're more on the slimmer side. And I'm sure they haven't gotten teased when it comes down to how they look. She looks totally different from her brothers. But it doesn't give people the right to sit there and talk about how someone's how someone looks. But you wonder why so much women are bleaching their skin. Why so much chicks starve themselves and go through surgery just to get that hourglass figure. And sometimes that big butt and tiny ass waist don't even look well, don't even suit them. It's not even proportioned. And I just feel like, why do we have to all look a certain type of way? Why we just can't just be comfortable and be happy in what the Most High gave us and what God gave us? What's wrong with that? You know, I just think it's really sad. You know, uh, we definitely have to have more talks about mental health, mental illness. If you're going through, if you have low self-esteem, if you're being teased, if you're being bullied, definitely speak up about it. Don't hold your tongue because by, if you keep silent, then other people are going to stay silent too as well. We need more people to be brave enough to tell people how they really feel. Come out and say, hey, this is how I feel. This is what's going on. And you might just save a life. You know, no one has the right to sit there and, and tease someone based off how they look. I just think that is so evil and it's so cruel that people go through things like this. And people actually perpetuate that. People actually participate in these types of actions. This, this leads people to their death. This killing people who killed themselves. I hope that Corey stays strong. Try to hang in there. Do not cut her life short because of ignorant, wicked ass souls walking the earth. You got a lot of evil people out here. But you guys, you got to stay strong. You got to find out who you are. Discover that. Embrace it and love it. And just do what you got to do in life. Do not let no one steal your joy. Do not allow no one to break your spirit, to hurt and kill your spirit. Don't do that. Don't allow no one, don't give no one that power. So, Corey, girl, if you're watching, well, I'm a small channel, so you probably ain't going to find me. But if you ever do, then just, girl, hang in there, stay strong, girl. Keep your head up. Embrace that beautiful chocolate skin. Don't let no one tell you anything different is gorgeous. And just hang in there, Corey, okay? So tell me what you guys think about Corey and what she and her wanting to commit suicide. What do you feel about mental illness? Do you think that it should be discussed more, you know, in, in the communities, in schools? What do you think? All right, so leave a comment, all right? And also share and also subscribe. Okay, take care. Peace out.